So the next inequality given is 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 60, x plus 3y less than or equal to 30, x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0. So I took the equation 3x plus 4y equal to 60 and I want, I'm going to find two points. When x takes the value 0, 3x plus 4y equal to 60 becomes 4y is equal to 60, isn't it? So that y is equal to 60 by 4 giving you 15. So one point is 0, 15. Again in the same equation 3x plus 4y equal to 0, substitute the value of y as 0. So what we are getting 3x equal to 60, it's not 0, it's 60. So x is equal to 60 by 3 which gives you the value 20. So we are getting 2 point, one is 0, 15 and the second one is 20, 0. Since it is a bigger point, I took the axis, the scale on the axis as 5 units, 0, 5, 10, 15. Towards the left side it is 0, minus 5, minus 10, minus 15. On the positive y axis again 5, 10, 15 and on the negative y axis minus 5, minus 10, minus 15 etc. So the points are 0, 15. So 0 here, 15 here. This is one point. And the second point is 20, 0. So 20, 0. We have to join these points using a straight line. And the next equation is x plus 3y equal to 30. So I have put the value of x as 0. So I will take the equation x plus 3y equal to 30. When I substitute x as 0, 3y will be equal to 30 and y will be equal to 10. So we are getting 1 point as 0, 10. Okay. To find the next point, what we will do? We will substitute the value of y as 0. So what we are getting as x, x as 30. So the second point is 30, 0. So mark the point 0, 10. 0, 10 will be here and the 30, 0 will be here. So join these two points using a straight line. Why? Because straight line is, why straight line is because it is less than or equal to. The next inequality is x greater than or equal to 0. So if I convert it into equation, the equation is x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. x equal to 0 is the y axis. Okay. And y equal to 0 is the x axis. So x greater than 0 means it will be the right side of the y axis. And y greater than or equal to 0 means it is the top of portion of the x axis. That means these two together itself comes to the conclusion that it is in the first quadrant. x greater than 0 means it is to the right side of the y axis. y greater than 0 means it is above the x axis. So x greater than or equal to 0. y greater than or equal to 0 means it is the first quadrant. Okay. Again we have two lines. 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 0. So if I put 0, 0 in the inequality 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 60, what I get is 0 less than or equal to 60. Is it correct or wrong? The inequality is correct, isn't it? So we have to shade the region where the point 0, 0 lies. This is the equation. This is the line corresponding to the equation. So 0, 0 lies to the below portion. This will be the required region for the first line and for the second line x plus 3y less than or equal to 30 is the inequality so when we put 0 so we are getting 0 less than or equal to 30 so this is also a correct inequality so we have to shade the region in which 0 0 lies so this is the line okay and 0 0 lies below the line so this is the region below that line so for, as far as this line is considered it is below the line as far as this line is considered it is below the line and uh, we already know that it is in the first quadrant then which will be the region the region will be this this one this shaded region this region which i am shading okay so this is the solution region for the given inequalities Okay, so always remember that x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 together gives us the first quadrant.